For a narrow path of the country from Louisiana to Virginia, it looked like this. Dark enough to convince at least one herd of cattle it was time to go back to sleep. In the Bay Area, it looked like this at least occasionally, depending on where you were. Heavy clouds obscured much of the celestial show. Hundreds of children had gathered at Tampa's Museum of Science and Industry, some watching a heliostat, others with sunboxes over their heads. Even the reduced rays getting through were strong enough to damage eyes if the sun was gazed at directly. A heliostat was set up at the University of South Florida as well, though many watched a monitor in one of Pulse-13's live units. It was pretty good other than the cloud cover. I've seen it before when I was living in Miami without the cloud cover. It was a lot better. Not very impressive, was it? <laughs> How come? I was expecting more. I saw a total eclipse when I was a kid in Georgia, and so this wasn't what I expected. But for astronomy professor Joseph Carr, it was still an event worth watching despite the clouds. clouds I noticed that there was a, a considerable amount of smoothening in the lower layers of the clouds here in the deeper part of the eclipse. It's still continuing that way. Now, why is that? That's because of the fact that the, uh, the energy input from the sun is uh, removed to some extent, and the result is that the clouds just sit there without much to do except simply to flatten out and become uh, much more uh, smooth in their appearance rather than to look tattered as they often do in the growing process. An annular eclipse leaves exposed part of the sun's surface. For that reason, scientists prefer total eclipses, which give them an opportunity to study the sun's corona and inner atmosphere. The next stop for the scientists is the South Pacific, November 22nd and 23rd, for a total eclipse. It takes place over two days simply because the path of the eclipse crosses the international dateline. Mike Randall, Pulse 13, the University of South Florida in Tampa.